Happens every time you sit down to make a video, the wind starts howling like Chuck Schumer on a gun control rank. Well, hey, y'all are. This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next uh, installment on trying to test ammunition. Let me, let me finish this. So, <clears throat> we got to thinking. <clears throat> There's so much bulk box ammunition for 22 on the market nowadays. There are so many brands, and we don't have examples of all the brands today to show. What we have is Federal Auto Match, uh, Aguila, let's see, we've got the Aguila Super Extra, okay? <clears throat> Make a run at that. We've got the new Winchester Super X bulk box. <clears throat> now, I don't understand the concept of Super X because Super X has always been, it's like Remington Golden Bullet buck box. You know, Remington Golden Bullet is the high-end Remington 22 ammunition. And why they would market it, of course, they're out of business now, but trying to recover. Why they would market the high-end ammunition as a discount bulk brand is... I don't understand that. Uh, there are several theories on bulk ammunition that it is factory seconds. It skittled down through there and didn't make the weigh-in process for finished product and got kicked out. And they put it in the bulk box and sold it. Uh, originally, I think that was the idea. But now there's so many bulk boxes and, and you can buy the high-end cartridge in discount bulk box. I think the bulk box has become a marketing ploy as opposed to a way to get rid of ammunition that they should have recycled. So we've got the Federal Auto Match, the Aguila Super Extra Bulk, the Winchester Super X Bulk, and the M22 Winchester Bulk. And we're going to take a run at it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the old classic pine board penetration and 15 yard accuracy test. How well does a round shoot at 15 yards into the wind just going so fast that Airplane sitting still can take off. <laughs> and how well does it shoot? And how well does it penetrate on a known uh, penetration medium? In this case, 7 8 inch thick pine boards, white pine boards. So let's get at it. Let's find out. So I've got my little thing down here, my cheat sheet. First is auto match. We're going to be using a 1022 with a fixed bore power on it that's zeroed. Let's try one round here at upper left hand auto match. Okay. Drop that guy out there and put it over here because I only got three magazines. Lower left hand, Aguila. Looking through the scope, I don't even think I hit the target down there. Lower right hand Winchester Super X. I 
That felt harder. Okay. And then finally, lock that guy back for a minute. There we go. Finally, let's dig it out of here. Winchester M22. walk down to the, check out our results and see what we result in. <laughs> see what our results are. He said result. <laughs> oh, they're marked. Okay. All right, let's see what we did. They all shoot pretty consistent. Apparently my zero is a little bit at 11 o'clock. They're here and here and here and here. Okay, fine. All right, auto match, one, two, three, three, four. Penetration on four retained in the fourth board. All right, uh, go up there and get my cardboard so I can tell which one's which. Uh, Aguila, one, two, three, Four, five, <laughs> and then and into this one. Aguila's got pretty good penetration on that. It's it's a Aguila's a pretty good penetrator. Five, six, and retained seven. Holy, eight. Aguila has penetrated eight boards and this milk case. Uh. That's what I would like to refer to as. Okay. Winchester Super X bulk. One, two, three, four, four. And it didn't make it out of the fifth board, but it put a dimple on it. All right. Let's go for the next one which is M200. One, two, two. It made it through two. There's the M200 bullet right there stuck in the second board. Uh, so granted, the M200 had to go through this knot. Okay, so that's probably the problem there. But <laughs> the, the Aguila has gone through Is that right? That's right. One, two, eight. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. So the Aguila Super Extra shot through eight, eight <laughs> individual seven eighths inch thickness uh, white pine boards. Uh, that was better than the Stinger test we previously did. Uh, the stinger only penetrated five, you know, so the accuracy of all four of them through the, through the known test bed rifle is virtually the same. This stuff, this stuff is carrying the mail. Uh, now let's look at it. What is the velocity rating of this cartridge? It says 40 grains. It doesn't say. What's it say? I got my glasses. 1255. 1255 feet per second, 40 grain bullet. Okay. Let's look at the 
flap information if we can find some. The auto mash velocity is 1200 feet per second at the muzzle. The auto mash and it's 40 grain bullet. Twelve hundred eighty feet per second, forty grain bullet on the Super X. Uh, Twelve hundred fifty-five feet per second on the M22, forty grain bullet. So the auto, the Aguila has penetrated eight pine boards so we're just going to keep it rolling and i'm going to go down there and put up another target and we're going to try that penetrate get the penetration test again see if we get the same result bear with us a moment oh. grab a bunch of targets that just went flying down through there yeah we got one of those left on it yeah So we got eight boards down there that are clean in the center. We're going to load up with an Aguila here and see if we can get the same result this time. This is, this kind of sent me in a circle here. We, let's turn the parameters of this video have changed completely. All right, here we go. My old hat bill down there where I can see what I'm doing. Right dead in the middle now. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's go there and give her another whirl. This got interesting all of a sudden. Aguila, right dead in the middle at 11 o'clock on the bull again. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there we got five this time. We got five this time. Might actually be able to recover that bullet. We got five this time. And there's our bullet. And yeah, okay. So that was more along the lines of what we expected. Maybe there was just a little bit more powder in that one than there was in the rest of them. But uh, still at five, pretty consistent with the rest of them. That kind of threw me for a loop there when that bullet went through eight. You know, that, uh, that's uh, kind of hot. And it sounded a little hotter. So it had that particular round. We just happened to stumble across the one that had just a little bit more powder in it than the rest of them. Or that's my theory. So what have we found? Well, with the exception of one round tested that shot like it was a howitzer, <laughs> Uh, they all shoot about the same. They all had the same point of impact generally at the 
reference target that we were shooting at at 15 yards and they all had about the same penetration so it would be hard to say one any one of them is any better than any other one which is typically the finding that we typically find when we do this type of test especially on 22 ammo uh, last weekend when we were filming stock footages uh, we did and by the time you see this it may have already posted or you know this may be the first one but uh, last week we were filming the penetration test between uh, various 22 hyper velocity ammunitions you know against uh, standard high velocity ammunition and we found that stinger that everybody thought was going to perform much better against you know a, in a penetration test was the worst one of the bunch and that the 1460 40 grain bullet performed better so you know and this is ongoing we're doing a whole separate video in a few minutes on another type of rimfire ammunition <clears throat> you know to try and get to the bottom of that so what did we learn the four bulk boxes tested are about the same they shoot about the same they have about the same amount of penetration so regardless of advertising and so forth eh, <laughs> they're about the same all right then uh, like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. We'll leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to on the way out the door. And if you don't, well, I'll just keep right on making content for you. Uh, you know, still, still a lot of silliness in the world. But uh, we've learned to be careful. God bless everybody. Join the NRA, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now.